Now then my friends, if you're looking at buying a new car, or maybe you've bought a new car, and you get to your main dealer, you get there on the day, you're looking forward to it, you're just about to sign and they go, oh, hold it one second, uh, have you thought about ceramic coating? You need ceramic coating on your new car, because if you don't, your car paintwork is gonna get damaged. The sun is gonna damage your paintwork. You're gonna get swirls, and your new car is not gonna stay new for very long. Well, my friends, it's a scam. Yes, a scam. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about it, and I'm also gonna save you some money, and I'm gonna save your brand new, shiny new car. This one behind me here is my Porsche Taycan. If you watch my channel, you'll know it's the Porsche Taycan electric car. This has been ceramic coated. However, I didn't have it ceramic coated with the dealer because it's gonna cost you a lot more money. So, we're gonna jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, click the little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. job there Paul aren't you? Cheers mate. They're absolutely spot on. Now I'm going to expose the scam. It's a scam. It's a rip off, it is a rip off yeah. So when you go to a motor dealers, I went to a motor dealers, just come this way a bit so you might be in the, uh, going to make sure he's in the lens. So um, when you go to a motor dealers, I went, I picked this one up, by the way I picked it up from Porsche Nottingham, love Porsche Nottingham and there's nothing wrong with them but they are a main dealer and every main dealer is the same. I love Porsche Nottingham, by the way, just in case they're watching, because Martin watches from there. I always go and buy my cars from them. Um, however, they did offer me ceramic coating, and it was over a thousand pounds. Now that is, a, I mean, come on, that's a little bit crazy. It is a lot on a new car. Yeah. It is, because at the end of the day, it's a brand new car. There's not so much prep. It's not like doing an older car, where you have to do a bit more detail into the paintwork before you put the ceramic on. Um, but a new car is, you just wipe panel, wipe it, the stuff they provide from Diamond Bright, then you do your stage one, then you stage, put your stage one on, then put your stage two on top, clean that off, and then put your ceramic on. It took me four hours to do the, once it was washed off and wiped, four hours to apply all the stuff and get it off. So it's not, it's not a big job, it's just a tedious job. Now, I am told, don't know if there's any truth in this, that modern cars use water-based paints. That's right, yes. So water-based paints don't last as long. No, uh, it's softer. It's softer, they scratch easier. Yeah, a lot softer. Bird, bird droppings on it, that'll, yep. that'll go through it and burn the paint. Yeah, they, they normally give you 24 hours. Uh, with this Diamond Bright, you get seven days and they guarantee it and you get a seven year guarantee with Diamond Bright. How much, is, uh, how much you, do you charge? I should know because I've just paid it when I'm doing this for the camera. I'm not sponsored, by the way. So if anybody says I'm not sponsored, I've just thought, do you know what? I'll do a nice little video and uh, I like to support local businesses. So if, if you bring a new car in, fairly new, took to two years old, it shouldn't be so bad, it's been looked after. You're talking around about 500 quid. Um, it all depends if you have to do any compounding or get the scratches out, but on average, if you do it through MacMaster and you quote MacMaster, I would use ceramic coating for 350 quid. 
Excellent. So, quote MacMaster, you get it for 350 quid. I had mine machine polished as well because you did, yeah. I'm a bit, of a bit of a perfectionist. So, I did that. That's why I didn't know the exact costing for yeah. the uh, ceramic coating. It looks absolutely superb. Um, now, then, washing it after you've done it. You get a shampoo when you buy the kit. Um, so, you need to use that. And then, when you've done it, you put the, um, the glaze on that, that is provided in the kits. So once you wash it, use special stuff, and then you put the coating on, and it keeps it keeps building it up. Do you need to polish the car after it? It is it is like a polish. Right. It's, uh, it's like a liquid detailing polish, yeah. but it's got the chemicals in it for the what diamond bright issue. Can so. I ask though, why don't the car manufacturers put it on in the factory if they know that the paint is is a softer paint because it's uh, water based? Well, they don't want to know. They've, there has been a few issues with some, there's that many you can buy. Um, so if you're going to use one, I deal with Diamond Bright directly and they guarantee it and they're there if you need to talk to them. So you get the support as well. Where a lot of the others, you don't really know a lot about them. Some have, they've had problems with the paint where it's reacted. Yeah. Now, a lot of it is, is because it's water-based, but more than likely, it hasn't been put on properly. So, at the end of the day, you've got to strip the car, get every bit of polish that's on the car before you use your diamond bright. Otherwise, you're just throwing your money away. It's got to be done properly, or don't bother having it done at all. I mean, you've had my car for a couple of days. Yes, and the thing is, when you've had it done, they tell you to keep the car in for a minimum of eight hours. So normally, we get the car done before the end of play, and it's in the unit overnight. So it's hardened and then it's all sealed. So it's, the job has got to be done properly. If you can't afford to be without your car for a couple of days, then it's just hand, wa hand waxing and things like that to, to do it, but it's not as good. He also did, by the way, uh, my wheel, because I curved it. I curved my alloy wheel, and yeah. I rung up, didn't I? He did. On a Saturday, I said, I can't believe I've done this, Paul. He's like, bring it in, I'll sort it. But the thing is, he can't drive, so. <laughs> Well, it's not a real car, is it? It's electric. It's electric. <laughs> but the thing, we do do the wheel refurbs, but Lee's, if you look at the Mac Masters, is diamond cut, um, so we just repaired it. We didn't do any paintwork to it, we just took its scuffs out. But normal wheels, we can repaint them, and we can change the colour. There you go. So, by the way, I will say again, I'm not sponsored. I paid this guy. I've just given him the money and it's all done above board. No sponsorship. So there we go. So YouTube, if you're watching, I'm not sponsored. I am just helping out a local business because this guy uh, sorted me out with my wheel and I was literally in tears. So uh, there we go. Thanks very much. That looks absolutely superb. Make sure you quote Mac Master. I'll put this guy's details in the description down below. If you're going to get a new car or maybe you've just bought a new car and you didn't have that, uh, didn't have the ceramic coating put on at the dealership and you didn't fall for the scam, then uh, <laughs> give him a call and he'll sort it for you and you'll do your damn good job. That's all from me today. Thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.